Black symbol. The shelter must be close. This is where they hide. for sore eyes.
mother may be nearby. This roof should give me a clear view. Calder, with your permission, we will now return to Asa. Soon. I have need for you still. Asa's warriors. Where do they fit into all this? You are one of our captains, yes? A duty I share with two others here. I thought I saw something in you. Stout. Resolute. Step over here. Sigrun and Halstein were two of the most revered sons of Ivaldi. If such prestige is a requirement for these rituals, then Calder is surely luring that Muspel to his death. I wonder if there's a way I can observe the ritual up close. I need to approach Calder without him taking notice. Perhaps the best way is with deception. Join me, chosen ones. Together. We will enact Suter's will. Who among you will hold that distinct honor? Let us see. chased after Kelda like a rabbit hound. Though he is no helpless rabbit. What signs might I find of this pursuit? <laughs> These fools dared stand in her path. one put up a fight. Briefly, I suspect. Asa caught up to Calder. His warriors moved in while he pushed on. But Asa tore through them like a whirlwind. The trail of the dead reveals. Huh? 
Isa caught up to Calda. His warriors moved in while he pushed on. But Asa tore through them like a whirlwind. The trail of the dead reveals her direction. Calda's too. And most importantly, the Salakars. They are headed west. <laughs> Looks like these two brought all the fires of Muspelheim with them. And Freya wonders why I have always refused to take her on a tour of that scorched dunghill. and Calder fought here. Blood was spilt. Two sets of footprints. One is stretched, like someone fled. The other closer together, uneven and lined with blood. They were hobbling, perhaps. Asa and Calder fought here. He gained the advantage. Foolish girl. Aza, your rage makes you vulnerable. She's hurt, but not enough to stop her. Looks like she followed Calder up that hill. Guards here are vigilant. Keep your distance. No sight of Asa or Calder. Only these curious Jotun buffoons who stand in my way. They should run, but they won't. Until we know what happened here. Finally, best of. These are similar. We used to restrain someone. The dead stack up. For these misspells, Ragnarok came early.
was a cart here, and drag marks leading to it. Acer chased Calder into this camp, leaking her lifeblood, blinded by rage and utterly reckless. <sighs> Looks to have cost her too. She came crashing in, mauling whatever half-wit stood between her and Calder. But those half-wits fought back in numbers. Injured and disarmed, she was overpowered and restrained. Calder then had her tossed onto a cart like a sack of turnips. Looks like they fled up that path. What is it Calder plans to do with the little princess now that she is his prisoner? Surely not. These tracks lead west. I must find Calder and the Selikar. For Baldur's sake. They paused here for a moment before continuing. Most likely to re-secure Ace's barns. Even in her sorry state, I imagine her to be quite the handful. She even bested me. Temporarily. Perhaps Baldur would not approve of my methods. Of the cruelty I must perform on his behalf. He and Ace, they are young. Pure of heart, but lacking in logic. One day they will grow up and see life as I see it. In the meantime, they must rely on me to ensure they live long enough to achieve that wisdom. And so, I do not have the luxury of being... faultless. They made a turn here toward the river. I hope I'm not too late. Asa. Is that you again, mad one? Come to tempt fate, I see. I do not die this day. Can you say the same? <laughs> ah, yes. You've proven once already how you like to strut around, unencumbered by fear. Perhaps... The Salakar did not give you an adequate taste of it. Enough of this blithering. Hand over what is now mine, or shall I just take it? To know fear, we must be subjected to it. When I am through with you, I will take Asa's willful ogre. Soon after, the Salakar will be complete. Then, believe me, you will know fear and pain. Just like your son. Is that your best? Come on, Mark. The boy put up more of a fight. Pretentious Asgardian air. Why is Sutra collecting hookahs? What does he mean to do with the Salakar? Tell me! <clears throat> Why do you aim to finish my work? Ask yourself how much you care to suffer in these final moments. Do your worst! You are wasting your breath. He will not tell you. And he won't have to. His secrets are known to me now. You want them? Move aside. Move aside, or I will destroy it. 
Traitor! <laughs> Traitor? It is you who are slaughtering your own kind. What I do, I do for Suta! Such devotion requires a strong Hugar. All these Muspel sacrifices... You need it only look inward. <laughs> Was he right? About you wanting to complete the Salakar? Sutra will not trade my son for something he cannot use. So you will see it through? To what end? How many lives would you take? For Baldur, I would drain all nine realms. Even Asgard. The words of a dreadful king. And a selfless father. It is the one thing that separates you from my own. You wish to reunite with your son. I wish to see my father's plans lie in ruin. No matter the price. Can you see both through? I can. But I will need your help. The Salakar still requires the Hooger of a suitable Jotun. Kulta never found one. I must get hunting. Do as you will. In the meantime, I'll join my stepmother, wherever she may be. I will try to learn how the Salakar fits into my father's plans. Under the guise of a contrite stepdaughter, of course. Keep it. I will need a way to find you when it is time to confront my father. You and this Babel share a bond. I set out to use you to my advantage. It ends with me in your debt. If it were not for you, I would have never known what my father was capable of. He used our people. Turned them on each other. For his gain. I cannot forgive him. And to that end, I am your ally. In Asgard, an ally is a friend. Let us not get carried away. Which of these dwarfs can help me find a suitable Jotun? Perhaps if I listen to that chatter, some fount of wisdom will reveal itself. I'll be with you. We are all at the mercy of this Seriously. same storm, brothers. But at least we have a place. Come to humiliate us some more? Help me, and I'll compose you a saga so exalted it will endure Ragnarok itself. But first, I need a name and a place. For what? For whom? The mightiest Jotun in all of Svartalfheim. We know the one. Right hand of Sutinger. Malviger. Here because of us! She is... worthwhile. Gave your son Vidar quite the beating once, didn't she? One day Vidar will make me proud. But why would Malviga care about you two? Premier and Lom aren't our real names. <laughs> Allow me to introduce... Fjallar and Gala. The ones who... Killed Sutinger's father. I heard something about him trying to outdrink a couple of dwarfs, and after befuddled tripping and breaking his neck. <sighs> Sutinger wasn't happy, held us responsible, but luckily we'd acquired some mead, some special mead. And well, Sutinger is partial to a bit of mead. We bartered it in exchange for our lives, except afterwards. Some thieving twat went and stole it. 
Loki, most likely. It's always Loki. Whoever it was, Suttunga didn't catch them. So he decided to take it out on us instead. Sent Malviga to hunt us down. Been incognito ever since. Can't trust this lot not to sell us out. Still, she hasn't found us yet. She will. Malviga's dangerous prey, even for you. But we can help balance the scales. Our old house, north of here. Sunk in a lake. Inside, upstairs on a table. You'll find a cup of great potency. Cup? You know, the cup. Oh yes, the cup. Has the power to do wonderful stuff. For instance... So, I bring you the cup, and then... We show you how to use it against Malviga. It's a deal. We are all at the mercy of the same... No one wants to hear our saga. But... Someone has already been here and stolen it. Assuming there was a cup in the first place. Telling us you'd be here. It's best to leave one of your enemies alive, so they can tell of your greatness. Everyone knows of my greatness. Perhaps there are one or two who have not yet heard? Just tell me where Malviger is. What... what's in it for me? I do not know, but I will tell you this. The longer you make me wait, the worse it will be. <sighs> Malviger is at the den to the west. And now? Will you spare me? Until next we meet. <laughs> there will be no next. You can be sure of that. roved the land with Freak. The cool nights spent together beneath the stars. She enjoyed the solitude as much as I. And the trouble and danger even more. A 
And then came the war with the Vanya. Taking Freya as my bride. It helped end that strife, but it ended many other things too. What trickery is this? Stronger already. So, the traitors have been betrayed. They had hoped that by serving you up, I would show them mercy. Clearly, a misapprehension on their part. Yet here I am, served up. If I were here for you, Haiwan, I would have brought an army. No, Sutungar will have his vengeance, but not here. I know why you have come. I have a bone to pick with you. After what you did to my son, Vidar, I must... Vidar put up an honorable fight. That is not what I heard. Do not believe the stories. Upon his return, too weak to stand, he squirmed like a worm caught in the sun. <laughs> you should have seen me. My acolytes had to carry me home on their backs. No. Your boy fought well. Is that why you spared his life? It is. But you aren't here to avenge Vidar's honor. You have come to steal my Hugar. And I intend to stop you. How do you know this? Esir, Jotun, you and Loki are both mad. And Hirokin is just as bad. And Thor is so stupid he might as well be mad. You spread chaos wherever you go. Yet, you are all known quantities to us. Surtur is not. He rarely emerges from Muspelheim. And when he does, he shares little with us. Thus, while here, I have sent my spies to learn what he plans. Beyond wiping out the dwarves like he did the elves of Alvain. What do you know of his plans? I know that he found a powerful elven relic. And that his minion, Calder, was tasked with finding the Hugaris necessary to sustain it. That Calder is now trapped within said relic. And that you would have me join him. I must trade the Salakar for my son. You. The one who almost killed Sutungar for his meat. We'll hand over a legendary relic. Take your son and leave. Just like that. <laughs> Put your mania aside, Havi. Work with me. Together we will foil Surtur's ambitions. I cannot take the risk. With each breath, Baldur is a step closer to death. I was a parent once. But we must look beyond ourselves. For the good of all. We have spoken long enough. So be it.
must adapt some of these maneuvers for my own you came here to do. Get on with it, blind one. End my misery. Oh, Ymir. True, oh father. My body comes to you. Sent by the same ambassador who claimed your own. As for my Hugar, do not weep for me. I do not deserve this. No. You do not. Lends me strength. This is the old workshop that Evaldi spoke of. I should check if he's already here. The entrance must be on the other side. Found anything worthy of your talents? This will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Emir, is that a, a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the sagas of your people, yet I've never heard. I of... never said my people. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light, or their stories. I do. When Sutter invaded their lands, they begged me for aid. The war with the Vanya had only just ended and I was... ...wary. Long after, I learned how Sutter devoured the Elves in mortal light, Uga by Uga. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hugers does it hold? Those of two warlords. One a Muspel, the other a Jotun. Nothing more? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Svartalheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasonous daughter of Sutra, and my friend. You grow dewy eyed in your dotage. What have you unearthed? Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful. Though its exact nature, I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this... this something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great, he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. 
would feel better knowing you're protected. Sinmara travels far and wide. But I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is, I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Mm, to unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Uh, I know the place. Home to the most ill-tempered shits imaginable. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Langren was once home to your rivals, Sindri and Broca. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need. What do you want? How can so many starving dwarves produce so much shit? Can't you see I'm busy? I do not take Shall kindly we? to being interrupted. Do I look like I got time for small talk? Can't you see I'm busy? So many starving dwarves produce so much shit. Uh, why are you here? A word, my friend. Evil D requests your aid. <laughs> Ain't my concern. Go talk to Augler. He's the master of this workshop? Master? <laughs> Nah, but he's chief when the masters ain't here. Did anyone follow you? I just spoke to that fellow. Here? How can so many starving dwarves produce so much shit? I do not take kindly to being interrupted. Why? Do I look like I got time for small talk? What do you want? Hello there. I bring word from Ivaldi. What do I care? Go talk to the Ganger. Ganger? Yeah. The chief. Name's Oakler. You are always again. You shouldn't be here! What do you want? Evil he sends me. He requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokir or Sindri. They still breathe? Where are they? No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? Couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you? Not my business where he goes. And Broker. Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. Anyway, look, leave your name and I'll pass it to Broker when he shows up. Tell him Harvey of Asgard was here. Harvey of... by Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivaldi. He's at the old workshop ruins. Times it stung me. Three on the hand, then the neck, all oh, in on my eyeball. A true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel, a big one. An ogre could tear me limb from limb, and still my severed hands would finish the job. 
That is focus. That is passion. That is horseshit. Master Broker, I'm glad you have made it home. And your brother? Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special mead? Yeah, the special mead. Sutunga's special mead? What's that frosty ass got to do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can... Uh, it can... Uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Uh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Aethorpe, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Evildy with a job and he'd done. Now, hold on. We didn't, uh... Good, good. We have a deal. That gadfly? It was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the sting. Is it too much to ask for some decent tools around here? You wouldn't know decent if it sprouted wings, flew up your ass sideways, and laid a golden egg. Sweet scent of mead, fouled by the stench of muspels. Yatna, too. The muspels aren't making any use in this place. They let it rot. Do you see, Sunan? I sense that Sindri has been here. A chain was placed here. From the scarring, something heavy was suspended from it. I've carried enough dwarves recently to know they are not as light as they look. That's Sindri's special mead. Given the puddles on the floor, he must have taken a bath in it. This hammer bears the mark of Sindri, and here, a bag of roasted acorns. This blood is many days old. One trail leads in, the other out. The 
Hoos Palace have a prison not far from here. Jan's Hoos, they call it. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue using the same sweet mead he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away. Bloodied. Drunk as a fish. But alive. Most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jan's Hoos. That is where I should go next. This place reeks of misery. More than I would even wish upon Loki, no matter his crimes. It's likely Sindri was brought here many days ago. I hope I'm not too late. Earth. Must be all that meat in their fat little belly. <laughs> Giants have no mercy. When I face them, I will show them none. Most of the dead have been roasted upon the flames. That body over there. I hope it's not who I think it is. He had his hooker cruelly stolen. I can sense that the Salakar was satisfied on this occasion. It was this Calder's first victim. And that amulet. The sigil. Sindri. Reckless fool. All this was a meat. Oh well. It is done. I must return the body to Brock. such as Sindri's, are of lesser value. Still, it can't be coincidence that Kalda sated the Salakar with the leaders of so many races. Muspel, a Jotun dwarf. Who knows what else? Noblest of dwarves! Chance led to Sindri's capture, but the nature of his death, that was not chance. When the enemy realized they had such a prize in their clutches. Who is this you bring? No! It can't be! Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of dwarves. More so than you will ever know. Oh, Sindri. No. No, my dear Sindri. The funeral arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend the broker to my will. I will 
speak with Rocco. Crafty way to cross the lake. Son of a rock, where did you hide? I must find a way to ease Broker's sorrow and make him amenable to my wishes. You lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. Tell me everything. As I neared the village, I I heard a great roar, like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He, he always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes. Yes, I've seen him do it many times in the workshop. Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. But then... One of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lopped his chisel and struck the coward dead. Right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. How can I tell Brocco we're missing the tools? <laughs> Where could they be? There's something wrong, Basil. Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? <laughs> Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri? To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Brocker. Except now we can't find them. You have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. I'd be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground right where they should be. <laughs> Harvey, please. Let me grieve in peace. I hear Versal can't find the Master's tools. I am very fond of the dwarves, yet their constant needs is exhausting. Oh, Loki, friend, betrayer, what I'd give for a moment of your gilded conversation, even the lies.
If I were Sindri, where would I hide my beloved tools? Somewhere high up, perhaps. A majestic oak. Surely this is Sindri's beloved acorn tree. Aid me, be my eyes. That nest looks like a promising hidey hole. If I had wings, I could reach it easily enough. Tools of Sindri's trade. I must reunite these tools with Sindri's remains before the ceremony begins. Disaster has been averted. Oh, now I see why some call you God. You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. Evil D has come. Perhaps he can be of use. I'm here for the mead, not the company. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's cost me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you, Sindri's greatest rival, would surely... Ah, oh, fuck off. We must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering, brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recast the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still, we can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Who knows how long it will take before the dwarves get around to lighting the torches. It will be faster if I do it. <laughs> The dwarves have saved the place. Is for me. 
This is a great honor that they bestow. My brother, a true master. He was, uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the saw. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come. Let's take a stroll. Now, tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But the fine Sutra was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that meat. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you and all of Svatalfheim. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So... Don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that... I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, alright? A little old think. senses. If he hasn't, I must encourage him further. the finest tools you'll ever lay eyes on! The finest? I've forged better in my sleep! Yeah, 
Is that why you were snooping about in the ruins of the old oh, workshop? Only Lord. because the Moosebell so stole shit. everything I had, Dimuit. Good to see you're getting along. So, Broker, do you accept your duty? Don't have much choice, do I? Last thing I need is a godly smiting up me ass. <laughs> Let this be the start of a beautiful new friendship. <sighs> to study the Salakar, I'll need the very best of tools. Too bad this workshop is lacking. Bugger off! I got more stuff here than you can wag a finger at. Doubt it. <gasps> If you find something you don't know how to use, just ask. <laughs> I'll be giving you lessons on how to use your Bickering own... Bickering dwarves. How unusual. Asa, you return. What? You deal with a fire nymph? Not this again. What news do you bring? My stepmother is stubborn. I cannot push too hard or she will grow suspicious. She has no interest in a trade. Interest, yes. But not yet the will. I don't understand. The Salakar is all but indestructible. You, on the other hand, are not. She assumes she'll catch me, kill me, and retrieve the Salakar. Time is on her side. Then I must strip her of this illusion. If I were to make a nuisance of myself, one that cannot be ignored. Sinmara prepares to lead my father's next major invasion. But if I were to disrupt her plans, it may force her to the bargaining table. Sounds risky to me. I once plotted and carried out the murder of Emir himself. What do I care of risk? Well, since you put it like that... Where must I strike? At Af Alvat Milna. My stepmother develops a strange army. At Yofrsmida, she breeds beasts of war. And finally, there's Drekathorp, her supplies hub. I've dealt with Av Alvat Milna, but not the other two. She builds a fresh army at Af Alvat Milna. It too must be ended. In the meantime, I shall return to Etri. I will send word once my stepmother has become more amenable. I'll return when I'm done, and I will expect answers regarding the Salakar. Asgard has abandoned us. No, we are their dearest allies. They won't let us down. We best get on with it, eh? Yes. You just follow my lead. Who put you in charge? You were once your brother's apprentice. Now you are mine. Apprentice? Are you having a laugh? This is my shelter and my rules. <sighs> Then truly we are doomed. <sighs> <sighs>